Yeah, we are heading to Manchester in just a moment for an update on the Jack Grealish situation. But first, a major blow for England and Joffre Archer. The fast bowler has been ruled out for the rest of the year, meaning he will miss the T20 World Cup and the Ashes are. Reporter James Cole joins me on set. This elbow has been a problem for a long time. This is the worst possible news, though. Yep, and the alarm bells started ringing, didn't they, earlier in the week when we learned that Archer was seeing a specialist once again following that operation in May. Well, we've just received a press release from the ECB. This is what they've had to say. They say Joffre Archer underwent further scans on his right elbow last week. The scans revealed that he has suffered a recurrence of a stress fracture of his right elbow. In response to that, he's been ruled out for the rest of the year. He'll miss the current test series against India. As you say, the World Cup, the T20 World Cup and the Ashes in Australia. Just the background to this as well. Uh, he had an operation in May that was to remove a, a bone fragment from his elbow. He returned to play m last month. Uh, he had some discomfort playing for Sussex in the T20 Blast and then more discomfort playing in a 50 over friendly for Sussex. And he's then gone to see a specialist. They've had scans and obviously the news uh, isn't good. Initially, when uh, he underwent surgery, the hope was for Archer to return maybe the back end of the summer, but the target was certainly the World Cup and the Ashes. Big blow for England. That now won't happen. Yeah, England clearly struggling without him at the moment. You mentioned that 50-over World Cup. He was a huge part of that. They wanted to do the same in the T20. They wanted to go down under and try and regain the Ashes. Both of those hugely less likely without him, you would say. But also a real concern for Joffre himself because this is an injury that just keeps on coming back. Yeah, in terms of England, it's obviously a huge blow. blow. Archer can bowl at over 90 miles an hour consistently at his best. He's got the bounce as well. He can do things that few bowlers can do. Harass the best batsman in the world, rush the best batsman in the world. So it is obviously a huge blow for England. But I think the bigger concern is Joffre Archer himself. He's only 26. And what impact this is going to now have on his career. He's got plenty of time, but they need to find a solution because he's been managing this elbow injury since the World Cup win in 2019. It's his right elbow, which he slightly hyperextends when he bowls, which helps give him that pace. Uh, he came back from the, uh, South Africa in the winter of 2019. He rehabbed. He's never quite got back to that pace, that, that full fitness. And the decision to ta have an operation uh, back in May was a big one, but the hope was that it would provide a long-term solution to this problem. Now, clearly, that hasn't happened or another problem uh, has occurred with this new stress fracture. So it's really crucial now for Joffre Archer and his continuing career that he, the ECB medics, moving forward, find a long-term solution. And I think that is the bigger worry for England, even more of a worry than the immediate future. The other point would be, by the way, that, that they said after the last Ashes tour, let's go down and find some pace for the next tour. They've got Ollie Stone out for the rest of the summer, Archer out for the rest of the year. So they've only really got Mark Wood in that sort of express bracket at the moment, haven't they? Yeah, who has his own injury problems, doesn't he, uh, historically? And they don't like to play back-to-back -back tests with Wood. And in Australia, you want bounce, don't you? Pace and bounce on those hard wickets. So yeah, England, in terms of the bowling uh, options for them in the Ashes, it's not looking as good as it may have done 12 or 18 months ago. All right, James, thank you very much for now.